Hello everyone, it's Raven and I am back again. And today, at the time of recording, I am in the middle of a 12 hour live stream. So we are recording this during the live stream, so I might respond a little bit to people in chat here and there. I will try to give you context if we do. But the next ship for today is going to be the Demon Howl Attack Frigate Shattermoon Fleet by Lord Grafton. And Lord Grafton is a phenomenal builder. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he brings to the table today. So here we go. Uh, what? Ooh. You have me intrigued, good sir. I like the engines. Those are really pretty. Totally digging that. All right, let's just do a slow drift around. Oh, you got that red lines in there. Okay, so this is actually totally different than what I thought because he, he posted a picture. But at the same time, it's better. This is really cool. I am totally digging this. Man. Look at, this is a weird ship, and I love it. Lord Grafton. Damn, man. I like it. Do you have a fucking hood ornament? Uh, no, it's a turret. I thought this was a hood... You need a hood ornament now. Also, that's a really cool looking turret. Oh, look at this. I gotta slow down. Okay. Let's just do that. That's a slow, dragged out. Oh, man. That is so cool. This thing just... It looks mean. It looks mean. It looks like it's been around the block before. Kicked the shit out of you if it wants to. This is really cool. Yeah, I... I, I I'm kind of speechless, honestly. Turrets are solid. Um, honestly, I will say, like, this right here, the the hazard stripes, I don't know how I feel about them, but, like, that's such a small gripe. I really like this thing. It's so weird. It's so cool. I totally dig it. I love, like, basically, it looks like this giant beast that is just it, it looks alive for lack of a better term it looks alive like that's really cool okay I am I, I have no notes on the exterior right now it's it's sort of this perfect blend of you know, there's there's detail, but there's negative space. I don't know. I like it. I like it very much. I'm really glad people send me these things. Okay, I see buttons and I need to know what they do. So let's go let's go see what the buttons do. Do do. What did I do? Is is something moving that I'm not seeing? I am so confused. We're gonna play find the door, and I'm gonna fail miserably. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Okay. I can dig it. I can dig it. So let me drop down. I bet you there was gravity that I missed. Okay. Oh, no, gravity here. Okay, so we are in gravity. Okay, so you might want to switch these out to buttons. That's all I can think at the moment. Having these as buttons might help. Uh, 
Um, having this exposed, I'm not personally, I don't like doing that. Um, but yeah, having those exposed is not, not really my thing, but whatever. All right, let's, I think I might have just broken your elevator too. Uh, sorry. Okay, so we've got, it looks like this is just a computer room or something. So this looks really dirty. Like, this is like, I don't know. The exterior looks gorgeous. But, okay, so when we come in here, force fields. Okay, so we got little beds. And we can see through. Is that straight out to space? Is there... Oh, is there glass there? I can't tell. I think there might be glass there. Okay. Okay. If there's glass there, then we're good. Uh, another one over here. So this looks like crew quarters sort of thing. Let's go get lost. Another couple bunk beds and more bunk beds. And we can see out underneath the ship. That's awesome. Okay. Easy day. So that's that side. I don't know what these are. I don't know what this is for. I wish I knew what this was for, but I'm very, very confused. Maybe just close that off? I don't see the point in it, but that's just me. And, like, you can clean a lot of this up and make it look a lot nicer. So that'll bring that down. Okay, so let's... See, now this... And then, and then we're back to good... It, what looks like pretty solid interior. Although, I found a hole. Might want to fix this up. Just saying. Alright, back down. And then, uh, okay. Really nice bridge. Totally dig the bridge. And the lounge chair. And then you got your captain, or pilot. I'm guessing pilot. Something like navigator. Nope. Weapons. More weapons. Captain. Yeah. I can deal with that. And then we got more weapons over here. I'm guessing more weapons over on that side. Let's go on down. Okay, so this is where your core is. Okay. I can dig that. Maybe fill in the sides, actually. That could work. Um, this one kind of feels a little unfinished, too. Unfortunately, you get twin jump drives. Okay. How do I put this? Um, it feels unfinished, and it doesn't feel cohesive. The exterior looks gorgeous, and it feels... It, it looks perfect. That being said, it feels like you're halfway through building the interior it needs work. It just needs cohesion of some kind, you know. You could do just a wedge right there, which would, you know, sort of make that feel like a pillar. And there's just a bunch of missing blocks, and I don't know. And then, and then you get, like, moments like this, which are just brilliant, you know. This looks really nice. Man, it's tough. And, like, this room... Like, the elevator's great, but, like, the rest of the room needs needs some love. That's all. The layout is, is solid. Um, the, you know, just, like, up here in the bridge proper is really nice. It has that really cool bridge feel. It feels like this is the one complete room. This and maybe the... the not down there. Uh, the quarters at the back. There's some really nice stuff here, but you just... <sighs> yeah. It feels like the middle part, the part that connects them, is unfinished, and, you know, you've also got holes. So, might want to might wanna fix the holes. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, all, all, all in all, though, I mean, it's a really good ship, and it's really nice. I really like it. I think this room right here is probably your, your big, my biggest bugbear at the moment. I think that 
these side ones, I don't know what they're for. They don't really make any sense unless, I mean, like, if they're cargo space, that's fine, but, like, put scaffolding or something in the way so that it actually looks like a proper, like, cargo area. I don't know. Actually, we can go and check that out here. We'll go ahead and go into the core room. It's not that way. Wait, is it that way? Yes, it is. Okay. You gotta go down here. Let's go check this out. So it's... It looks like it's solid. Yeah, it's it's definitely solid. Um, okay, so we got turrets there. Let's see. Is this cargo space? Of course it's cargo space. Okay. Add stuff right here. Make this into like a grate or something. Uh, to, to show that it's... That it's cargo. You know, because there's nothing here that indicates that it's cargo. And when there's no cargo in the system it looks really weird like really weird so maybe maybe use uh, the hazard stripes that you're using in here on the floor in this like ring pattern on the outside that could work and then maybe use some scaffolding or something like that to just sort of give it a um, you know, a, a way to close it off. That'll help. Uh, other than that, I think I have to agree a little bit with Sen. There, there are a lot of colors. Some of them sort of clash a little bit. But I think what it is is... I think it's the fact that it feels unfinished. It feels like, you know, like... Not so much right here, but, you know, you've got... A lot of the logic sticking out, and you got logic lines jumping up into the ceiling, and you know you got blocks sort of just chilling, not there. And there's one there, and I did not delete that. You know, I mean, it feels unfinished, it feels unrefined, and I think what you should do is go back, find all those little pieces, you know, and tweak them, and really bring it, you know all the way around because it's a really solid ship and the exterior is absolutely gorgeous I mean this thing looks menacing it's it kind of looks like I mean it does it looks like a creature it's really cool just bring this interior up to that standard it's not quite there yet but it has a lot of potential um, I think I think you could if you if you were so inclined. Now, I'm not sure what your interior style typically is. But, like, in here, you know, this is a lot more simplistic. You could go with a lot simpler interior. You don't need all these crazy blocks everywhere. You can keep it nice and simple and cohesive. It's sort of like you have this detailing style out here where it's these clean, simple lines... Uh, with some negative space, you've got some, you know, some detailing here and there. Nothing too major, but it's enough to to really grab the eye, but not too much to overload it. You can do the same thing on your interior, and I think that that would be a huge benefit. Because like you can even see it right here, right? This ex this uh, piece right here, the top of your um, elevator looks really nice. And then as soon as it opens like this, it's just kind of all over the place. I mean, this doesn't look finished, because I don't think it is. Uh, the interior is its just... There's too much. Where you have this super simple, you know, you're sticking with, you know, three, maybe four colors. That works really well. So try that out on the interior, and it's going to bring it really 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 a lot further together the other thing you can do is of course detail this for when the things up that being said design wise shape wise uh, overall you know sort of theme or feel to it really solid really cool and to anyone who is watching who is not Lord Grafton go download this thing. It's really cool, and I would love to see more stuff like this in the future. Um, 
yeah, I think that's going to be it for this review, honestly. I don't think there's anything else I can say. It's a really solid ship. It's got... It, it's sort of like... It's what I would call a really well-realized concept ship. That if you want to bring it forward into the super amazing... Not, ju not just a concept ship. A pr and when I say just a concept ship, you know what I mean. Just super... Like a fully blown ship in its own right that is a a brand new trendsetter, um, which I think this thing has the 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 potential to be. You just need to update that interior. That's really what needs to happen. Um, actually, yeah, we'll check out weapons real quick and actually camera placements. That's forward, back. Oh right. Uh, let's okay. Give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> And put that down. Okay, so that's not bad. Okay, I'm guessing this is a. Okay, uh, I don't know where this is. It's a weird spot to have a camera. Okay, let's we'll use this one. Cannon. Okay, single shot. Oh, okay. Beefy like waterfall cannon. Missile swarmers. This is the sector's not protected again. Well, this is going to go badly. Real badly. Okay. Uh, jump drive, jump drive, overdrive. Oh, so this thing's fast. Okay, how much effect? About 30%. Jump inhibitor, and then your rail docker, and I don't think there's anything else, probably. Punch through effect, ion effect, scanner. Okay. So, I mean, it's it looks like it's a tanky little thing. Also, that completely obliterated my... <laughs> I'm going to have to get a new camera every time. Yeah, so I think this is what we were looking at, looking through is this camera here. All right, cool. Well, it's a solid ship. It needs, it needs a cleanup on the interior, but the rest of it is really, really good. I really, I really dig it. Um, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. Just keep, keep doing this stuff, yeah. Please keep, keep going with this sort of thing. It's really cool. I've literally never seen it before, and I've seen a lot of ships at this point. So, I'm really digging it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna call this review here. Thank you so much for, uh, from Lord Grafton for sending me the ship and uh, if you want to check it out link down down below and uh yeah i will see you guys on the next one